Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to animate this fire using the visual effects tab. Uh, we have a wave distortion and a glow on this fire, and that's how we're going to animate this fire. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and hit pause here. I'm gonna bring in the startup file. Um, and all it is is just a bunch of PNGs, just images that I brought in um, from an existing file. I converted some of the images to PNGs. I brought them in, all of them, the, all the logs. If I hit zero, these are the logs here, here, uh, and the guy and the girls and the sky. That's all there is. Uh, there's a camera, but it's hidden. And there are no lights and there are no grease pencil objects. So we're going to create a grease pencil object. We're going to draw that flame uh, first and then we'll animate it. And then we'll light up the scene. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'd like to do is create uh, or not create, add a grease pencil object. So I'm going to add a grease pencil stroke. Go to edit mode by hitting tab selecting this and I'm going to hit the delete key. Yep, delete it. There's my grease pencil stroke. I'm going to start, uh, in fact, you know, what I'll, I'll, you know what I'll do is I'm going to hide everything. Boom, right there. And uh, the only thing visible is the grease pencil stroke, which obviously we, we don't have anything yet. Uh, but we're going to draw the flame here. And I just don't want all of the stuff in the background as a distraction. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go to draw mode. And let's uh, create a new material. Let's create a new material. I'm in the materials property uh, tab. And I'm going to hit new here, add, and then new. And then I'm just going to call it uh, flame. Of course, I don't want a stroke. Uh, I do want the fill, and, and for now, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna give it a, a, a yellow. I just wanna start drawing. All right, so one flame at a time. One flame at a time. And in fact, guys, I'm not using the tablet for this exercise, I'm using the mouse. And so I'm gonna draw, and I've got my material ready. It's just a solid. It's got no stroke, and I just picked a, a yellow. All right, I'm gonna start here at the bottom, and I'm gonna start drawing. Since it's a flame, I really don't need any reference material. There we go, there's our flame. And it's a little wobbly, that's okay. Uh, we can always go to the sculpt mode Select this smooth tool, and if you hit F, you can size your uh, brush, and then hit hit it so that it smooths it out, just like that. See how smooth that uh, became? Awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, create another little flame inside here. There's usually like an inner flame inside. So let's go and, and hit draw. But for the other flame, let's uh, create a new material. So I'm in the materials uh, properties. I'm gonna click plus and a new. I'm just gonna call this flame two. Of course, I don't want a stroke, no stroke. And I do wanna fill. And this fill, I'm gonna make it just a little darker. I'm gonna make it like a red just so we can tell the difference. Let's draw in another one in here. I'm gonna start here at the bottom again, and then I'm going to, it, don't worry that it's not so perfectly, there we go. Go to sculpt mode, get the smooth tool, and then just smooth it out, smooth it out. As much as you want, that's it, we're good. And if you decide that you need to move it, and you're not done, like for instance, this might be a little too much, while this is, might be too straight, you can always do push. 
I'm going to hit F and then I'm going to lower my strength and I can I can still model this and then this one a little bit less but I have a video showing you guys how to use these tools you can go check those out and there's our flame the next thing I'd like to do is just move the pivot point here to the bottom and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both objects and then move them so that the pivot point or the origin point is at the bottom um, so I'm going to select this one up here the yellow one I'm going to select uh, the yellow material I'm going to push this up a little bit just to open it up and then I, instead of a solid I want it as a gradient um, it's going to go from yellow to white but I don't want white I want to make it like this and you're gonna have to kind of uh, play with these uh, this is the blend how how much of it is blended in with each other and then the location I can kind of see it right there I'm gonna try to rotate it to where you can see half of it on the bottom and it's just a matter of, of playing with it till you're happy with it the 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 scale also And then um, if you got it almost, but the, the colors are the wrong, uh, at the wrong ends, you can always hit this flip colors. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make the yellow a little bit yellower. Like this, and I like it. So the next one, we're gonna, we're gonna go to the next one and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pick a gradient uh, move this one down here and then pick a um, like an orange and that almost fell I'm gonna flip the colors and I even kind of like that already um, let's play with these and see if I, we could rotate it a little bit here we go there I like that and so um, you can play around with the gradient to make sure that you get a, a nice gradient. I like that. Our flame is done. Uh, the next thing I'd like to do is animate it. We're going to animate the flame. Go to object mode and let's go to the visual effects tab. And the first thing I want to do is I'm, I am going to add a wave distortion effect. The reason you don't see the effect yet is because we need to be in render preview. Um, so render preview, you will see it. If you are in um, just the material preview, you're not going to see it. You're not going to see it in the solid um, mode, but you have to be in render preview. All right, cool. We see the effect and it's, and it's you know, created a little wave and so the amplitude is how deep is that wave? Uh, how deep is that wave? You can make it, you know, very, very deep. I'm just going to keep it to about there. The period is how, how tall the wave is in the Z axis. Uh, you can see it move up and down. Period is how tall it is. So I'm going to make it about there. And then the phase is just the randomness. All right, so if we hit play, we haven't animated anything. But I'd like, I, I already like the shape of that. And let's, so let's go ahead and animate. We can animate any of these properties. Remember, guys, 
uh, anytime you see a little dot to the right of the property, you can animate it. So what we're going to animate is the face. At frame one, click the little dot to create a, a keyframe. In fact, let me hit this. And then I am going to go, in fact, let's cut this to about 100 frames. Uh, I'll go to, let me zoom in a little bit. Let's go to the last keyframe and let's push this to about, let's say, 100. You can see that it turned um, orange, but uh, we still haven't created a keyframe. So let's click on that to create a keyframe and let's hit play. And, and you see how it starts off slow, gets, you know, speeds up here in the middle and then slows down. That's the slow in and slow out effect. Let's get rid of it. We don't want it. Usually we do want it, but not in this case. I'm going to open up a new window. I am going to reveal the graph editor. Hey guys, I got another video uh, explaining the graph editor. So make sure you guys go check that out. Uh, this is my curve. I'm going to right click on it and go to interpolation, interpolation mode, linear. That means it stays constant at a constant speed. It doesn't speed up or slow down. I'm going to just close that hit play and now it's constant. I kind of don't like that. It might be a little too fast. So let's um, go to the very last keyframe and slow it down maybe to 50. You see how it turned orange? I just need to reset that keyframe and hit play. There we go. I, I, I like that a little bit better. Maybe it's still a little too fast I'm gonna go to about let's say 30 and reset that keyframe hit play good I like that all right cool now that we've had it um, animated the next thing we we're going to do is add a glow effect we're gonna add a glow effect and to see the glow uh, let's play with the threshold a little bit. There we go. To see the glow, uh, what I'd like to do is bring back all, all of our uh, assets here. There. And then I can see the glow now. So the glow is here. And I can uh, play with all of the options. The threshold is how much of it is can you see and then the color of the glow let's make it a little yellow and then how big it is I think it's a little bit too big let's uh, make it 30 by 30 uh, there I like it a little bit better and let's see if if the glow is first does it make a difference? Yeah, but I don't like it. So I, I like the, the wave to be first. Uh, I like this wave to distort the, um, the flame first and then have the glow after it's been distorted. So I'm going to move this down to the flame. And of course, let me zoom in on it. Let me zoom in and let's um, scale it. move it to about right there in fact I'm going to rotate it a little bit hit R um, and then I'm gonna duplicate it I'm gonna duplicate this shift D to duplicate I'm gonna bring it over here I'm gonna hit R to rotate S to scale and then shift D to duplicate that bring it over here I'm gonna put it lower R to rotate and then S to scale when you hit play there you have it guys uh, we still have to do a couple little things for example this one this one I might want to speed it up a little I might want to speed that up um, 
I might want to change some of the attributes, some of the properties. For example, the the uh, the period and the amplitude, and then maybe the the phase. Maybe speed this one up to about forty, and let's see what that, what that looks like. See, that's a little bit faster. That's okay. Just to give it a little bit of variance, I'll do the same with this one. I'm gonna go to the very last keyframe, speed it up, and maybe make this just a tiny bit less, just like that. Reset that keyframe, and this one's different now. So they're all different, it gives them a little bit more organic feel. Uh, and the last thing I'm gonna do is, is change the lighting. Change the lighting, I'm gonna add a light I'm gonna add a light here under add light. I'm gonna make it a just a point light. And if you if you flip around like this, rotate the scene. I'm gonna bring this light a little bit forward. Maybe not that much, right about there. And then I'm going to, of course, bring it down. Uh, and I can see the the uh, shadows back there but I don't want any shadows. I'm gonna go to the light properties, turn off the shadows, give it a warm yellow, and then crank up the, the uh, power. You can see that light. In fact, you can add a flicker effect. Um, I did that in a video. You can check out that video. It's called uh, the flicker effect. You can add that flicker effect here to the power. Uh, and that would add a lot of realism to it. Uh, I'm not gonna do it here. You can go check out that video, guys. And then, um, that's basically it. The only other thing I'm gonna do is back here in the options, nope, here in the viewport shading, I'm gonna turn off this, the scene world lights uh, to make it dark. And then I'm going to uh, bring down the strength to make it even darker. You can see the effect of the light right there. But I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit. And there we have it, guys. That's the whole thing. I'm gonna hit play, see what it looks like, and there we go. A nice, warm campfire uh, animated. I didn't even do any animation. I, I animated the um, visual effects. We added a wave. Um, modifier or uh, effect and a glow effect. Hey guys, I hope that this has been uh, helpful to you. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and, and hit the like button guys and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.